right, we got a good one. That's good. Finally. Something Aurora Ba. H. E. Lloyd. Is it another one? <laughs> Look. Oh. H. E. Lloyd. There you go. It's yours. No. Happy birthday. No. Yes. I got one. Well. This is good for you. No. This is what you want. But it's, you should have it. At least you got this. That's good. Really, this is this thing. Probably. It looks like it's a greener, clear milk. I don't know. Broken. Okay. Yeah, I saw that right underneath this weed mat. Just by luck. Now I gotta grab the coat. That's crazy. Looks like it's got some major bubbles in it, man. Really? Those, those are. Right. Oh, there. wow. Right there, right there. That is cool. I hope it doesn't get flashed. Do that could bags. happen, too. Okay, I'll put this in I gave you the bags. I used one. It's an H.E. Lloyd, Aurora, Illinois. Oh, it's okay. So it's a crown top. That's pretty cool. I almost threw it. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> that was buried, man, like big time under that log or those limbs. That's a fucking cork. That's crazy. That's beautiful what that is. Freaking amber, too? Wait. That one piece was buried. And that said one was buried. Yeah, that's the stuff that's evidently uh, produced. You know, showing some age here. What's this? Old Taylor? Blech. No thanks. Maybe someday somebody will go and grab that stuff up there. There's a one. Yeah, this is a uh, blown crown pot, man. Blown? Yeah, look. Well, look at it. Here's your line. <laughs> Miller it stops line. right about there. That's what I saw. I'm like, that's freaking cool. Okay, should I keep? This is fucking awesome. There's the other one that was next to it right there. Oh, that's a different shade. That is fluting on the neck. This looks like a freaking Jack Daniels logo. Is it? No, it's not that old. It's kind of cool though. Okay, I don't know. If it's like some type of sauce. You think? Probably. One there, one there, one there. I don't even know if I'm recording. Nope. Let's see. Fucking water's getting bad. Oh, that's still got ring on that old. Take your sunglasses off. Wait. I can see pretty good. For once. There's one there. I'm not gonna step in front of you. There's a couple. Billy? I bet you it was Atlas? It's the Atlas. I bet you that was a blob. This bottle not to be sold. That's a big a slug Pepsi. plated one. Either That's that cool. or it was a hutch. Look at the bottom. It's blank. 
It's cracked. Not a glass worthy cutter. What should I do with it? Throw it. Okay. No sense in keeping it. <laughs> Sorry. You. Hang on to that. That's what. Oh, has some decor. Canadian something. Oh, it's one of those, uh, we, I found one of these with the doors. Oh, that's, uh, yeah. No. They were worth like 20 bucks. It's actually in pretty good shape. I'll get rid of it if I find something better. I was after the whiskeys. <sighs> Actually, I see one of those. A bottle that's under a rock. Looks like a big. What's this? I think there's some up there. That's not good. go. There's a cluster of them. There's one that's buried. This is a coke. That's a squat. Something 70s. We get rid of these. There. Dirty up the water. So I get them out coke. Chicago. 23? I can't see. I don't know. I'm gonna start. Should I get this one? Okay. Oh. What's that? It's one of them juice milks. No, it that says be, something. That might be a prairie view. Look in the front. Is it embossed? Slug blade? <sighs> Have. Yeah. <laughs> Prairie view. Um. Yes, you I almost I threw have. it out. Carlson's. Carlson and Geneva. Yep. That's I even cool. think that was a milk bottle. That's a good one. Okay. You're next. That don't look like. There's a big one right here. There's, there's like the four, ton. Four there. This is freaking sweet. Another Coke. All right. I'll grab one of these. This might be a better Coke by the way it's written. Um, no, this is Duraglass. It's the top of a milk. I can see that. Oh, that dirt! had ACL on it. Probably a seven up or something. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that's really ugly. Michelob. <laughs> okay. Actually, I think I know that. That's another Coke, I think. The little one. Oh, up for... that one? Yeah, I'm thinking. No? No. Nothing. There's a big one in front of it. Okay, grab it. Uh, where did it go? There. Oh, okay. I see. Yep. It's like old and new is mixed in. It's crazy. That's awesome. I'll see more about that in there. Carlson's Geneva, Illinois. That's good. That's a good one. All right, what's this? 
hook's broken. Possibly. Oh, maybe not. Good. I think we're going to be here a little while. I see another uh, hidden... Hang on here. Oh, it's one of those. be back all right well these are the some of the best finds of the week I want to say um some came from the river and others came out of an old bottle dump uh, I don't know it's hard to tell which is which right now we're gonna be working on cleaning these up shortly but this is what they look like before which is you know not very pretty it's hard to see the embossing on a lot of these unless it's wet but um yeah this is probably this is the prize right here big time old amber beer got this one too so yeah a lot of work ahead of me tonight and this i didn't even realize was a cream type jar until about five minutes ago because it was covered with dirt and after it was stuck in a bucket of water it, all of a sudden I'm like oh my gosh it's slug plated <laughs> and paused with the phone number from Chicago old creamery very cool it's always a fun surprise when that happens so yeah this might be a really good one too it's a Jupiter uh, spring water yep. Yeah. There's embossing on both sides, but yeah, there's that's your river algae and river scum right there that's gonna come off. So Alright, we'll be back with the final cleanup. Alright, Jason found something really awesome now, finally. After I think we've been out here for about six hours today. So otherwise, well at this spot we're at, um it's one of those old Quakers, so. Okay, flip you around here. See what we got going on, which is nothing up this way, but I'm gonna walk up to him and see what he found. Can I see it? Yes. <gasps> Whoa. At the bottom. That's uh, pretty That's awesome. A, it's a an applied. Track? Probably got a little crack right there. Oh no, it's in this right there. Well, that's right a bubble. There, I think that's a bubble. But uh, you can see how it's oh, a little it bit, a little bit droopy blob top, wow. and it's not even even. That's amazing. It's intact. It's in the bottom again. Freaking cool. All right. Yay! Give me a hug. A bottle. I wish it was embossed. That's what I was like. I was like, where is it? Where is it? I know. I was like, he's been in over for a while, but I'm sure. I was just expecting to see a bottle go flying in the yeah, air. That's freaking sweet. Wow. I can't see a damn thing going back. I'm gonna look on the edge of this island quick just in case. Oh. Well, hey everybody, so here's a quick little uh, cleanup deal I've got going on. We uh, had a really long week uh, walking in the rivers, doing the mud larking thing, whatever you wanna call it. Then did some bottle digging in a dump area. And these are pretty much the best of the best that came up that I feel, I don't know. I think everybody would like to see this stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. So I guess I'll start with this. It's an old whiskey bottle, probably from the 1940s. And I think that's cool about it. It's like it's a pyramid with rays coming off of it. And I'm, I like the whiskey, 
bottles lately, especially if they're, you know, unique and embossed. So, teens. I found this in a bottle dump yesterday. It's the Sam Lerner and Sons Dairy. It tells you the phone number in the street address from Chicago. That's that. Can't find out a whole lot about this company except that they were pretty much, I don't know, I guess more well known for making their uh, cracks, like butter cracks and things like that. So that's very cool. And I had no idea it was embossed until a few hours ago when it was being cleaned up because this whole front part was covered with dirt. And the only reason I kept it was because of the style of the lip there. It's like I thought it was an old fruit candy jar. So here we have two 1920s milks. Both River Fines. Carlson Dairy from Geneva, Illinois. Very cool. And the Burr Oak Dairy, which is also found in a river, from Dundee, Illinois. There you go. This is the prize. <laughs> Each E. Lloyd, Aurora, Illinois, it's an old beer, turn of the century. It's a crown tap, blown in a mold. And yeah, it needs to soak for a little while, but you know, this is the quick cleanup, like I said. Oh, it's tooled top, sorry. Looks like a crown to me. I'm still kind of learning no, this stuff. But it's tooled. So it's crown top, but tooled. It's kind of hard to show the details on this. And I'll do another video someday where it's like immaculate, but very cool, especially for being amber. So, we've got the teens here. This is another H.E. Lloyd from Aurora. Super heavy. And that's that with that. Beautiful. Cleaned up really well. You got the Adolph Westfall. Bottling Company, River Forest, Illinois. Looks like it wanted to be a hutch or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's awesome. I found this today. It's a Jupiter spring water. Geneva, Illinois. And there's all kinds of embossing on this thing. The bottom is awesome. It's a really nice bottle. It's, I found another one identical to it, but this whole top half was missing. So, kind of a bummer, but can't complain. Um, Edelweiss beer. These are from the uh, 1920s. From Chicago. You can see that. Property of Shinhafen Brewing Company. Found quite a few of these last year, but I don't think we found one quite exactly like that. And I thought this was the best find, but I was told no, it's not. Jason found it a couple days ago. 1870s. Maybe even a little earlier. Not quite sure. It's completely unembossed. There's nothing to even give you a remote inkling of who made this bottle but it's a blab top I think it's beautiful it's, it's super cool to me and then we have a ton of cokes and then I left a bunch behind because I was told it's not worth taking them because we needed room for the good stuff <laughs> so if anybody ever wants any cokes seriously let me know um, dirt cheap I could hook you up this is the best. It's a 1923 uh, from Chicago, but we think it was actually made in 1927. So 
Let me get this thing here. Bowman Beverage Company, Aurora, Illinois. No. You decided it was possibly the 30s. 30s to 40s. So, yeah. Marbles. I'm going to try and do this quick here. Jason's Dump Find. Yeah. Awesome. And it's intact. <clears throat> Excuse me. Along with this find of his, this like wide lipped corker bottle. It's kind of wonky and, and it, we don't think it was ever in a fire, but it's just the way it was made and it's super cool. It's, I would, I don't know. We have no idea what it was made of. I think it might have been made as a little vase, but that's my thought. Okay, and the last of the stuff. This is a crazy, we're thinking something, it's a oiler where they would plug into the battery for the railroads back in the day for like the switching signals. I found this this afternoon. Yeah, there's a crack in it. But it's been soaking in water and that level that you can see, it hasn't changed since I've been had it here soaking in water. So I think that's pretty much sealed in there. Even though it's got that crack. And there's embossing and it's not really easy to read. But very strange find, in my opinion. Um, two poisons for this neck of the woods. Mine was busted. Found it yesterday. Cool. No, they don't say poison. We're pretty sure that's what they are. A little amber vial there. This thing. Oh, what do you think age was? Probably the night, the teens, you know. It's mint, cleaned up beautifully. Not much to go by for manufacture. And then the marbles. This is the best. Oops, jeez. Right here. Try and get this to focus. It's beautiful. What did you think it was? It's a Christensen slag, most likely. Fantastic. This is Jason's other marble find. Peach cat eye, four veined. It's kind of hard to get this. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I wiped out twice in the river, so my hands are trashed. My knee is beyond trash major abrasions going on so <laughs> i'm in pretty rough shape <laughs> that's why my fingers are, ugh. anyway this was my marble and uh yeah i think it was probably from a game that's okay it's a marble still so two last things this oddball piece we're not really sure if it's actually a piece of slag marble slag or my idea was that it possibly fit around a, a, a lamp or something. Um, because I found pieces of a lamp nearby where this came out of. But it's beautiful. It's, it's truly like an agate that I'd love to collect. And then lastly, Jason found this. And I thought he was kidding. This is not long before I fell, actually, for the first time and got injured. Um, he's like, look, it's a Buddha. I'm like, What? Yes, and it's bronze. River find. It's crazy. I gotta put some brasso on it. It's pretty awesome. Obviously very old. No idea how old, but... There it is. So, alright. Almost done with this adventure for now. But... I will be back soon and thanks everybody for watching and once again if you have any want or need for cokes let me know i got plenty to hook you up with okay see you soon good night